Electrical impulses are information under the form of electricity. These are signals that then propagate down through the axons and use coded information to help our organs work. The electrical impulse transmission process consists of two main chemicals, iron potassium and iron sodium. The fluid inside the neuron consists of iron potassium that is 20 times higher than the fluid outside, but the fluid outside is rich in iron sodium that is 10 times higher than the fluid inside. The reason why the fluid inside carry a negative charge is because of these large anions. The anions are really large and they got stuck in the fluid inside the neuron. And because they carry a negative charge, they maintain a minus 70 millivolts charge inside the entire neuron. When a signal is activated, the ion channels are open to allow ion sodium rush in and change the minus 70 millivolts charge to a plus 40 millivolts charge, which is the action potential. And because this is so, because this is so large, it's overshooting, so the charge needs to spread out. It's spreading to the right according to the analogy that negative charges attract positive charges. Due to this, processing images, music, or other forms of art requires complicated neural pathways. With the experiments, they let supersonic hydrogen plasma flow through a tunnel and well, they activate the magnetic shield. So when they activate it, it generates a magnetosphere, which you can see here deflects deflect it. See? It's spread into both sides. And it creates barriers with a safe zone of RS. So this proves the capabilities of the magnetic shield to work in space. And therefore, we can see that this technology can be achieved within our timeline, right? It's not a few decades ahead of us. No, we can create it now. Now, if we were to do it, this is how it would work. Keep in mind, this is only a theory. So, if we were to play a magnetic dipole at the mass of range point 1, it will block the solar wind. And it will also generate a magneto tail, which will take Mars. In the past, society did not have a positive view of same-sex relationship. But now, the life environments have changed. The mindset of society is also gradually changing. So parents should feel free to let their children out because deep down in their heart, they fear that Humanity will discriminate and sow hatred for the child. Pride is rampant. Thank you. Situation cannot repeat anymore. There are too much innocent people who didn't do anything passed down. There are too much pain now, so we must do something for us and for the next generation. We must step up and say something, even if it doesn't affect much. But still, a little by little, I believe that we're qualified to change the world. Every single verse are really powerful, no matter how old we are. In the future, humans will ditch speech and communicate using nothing but their thoughts. The problem we solve today is speech. You see, there are only limited languages to express what you're thinking and emotions. And sometimes, if we had brain-to-brain -brain communication, we could transfer text images, videos, and even express our indescribable emotions to someone else just by the brain. The bridge and one under the water, using magnetic to keep the house floating and adjust the structural force of the magnet so the house can move up and down up to the users, up to you. And wanting to go on, wanting to go to the crown, we use flying transport that I said earlier fly to the escalator uh, on its coastal and go up. Hey, I get hacked and used to assess systems before launching ICBM, which stands for Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. So, should AI be cancelled? No. Why? Because AI is intelligent, meaning it is possible to negotiate with them. Another important language is binary code, Humanity used binary code to communicate, negotiate, and collaborate with AI. Collaboration between two intelligence beings is extremely beneficial. For One of my solutions is to increase the security system to prevent hackers from entering. So, block number, the hash of the previous hash of block number three is similar to the hash of block number two, and the previous hash of block number two is similar to the hash of block one. So, block number one is However, pretty special because it, it's the first. It's a centralized structure of a, of something. You can see it everywhere. When everything centralized and into a server that holds everything, but 
if something bad happens with the server, like it getting hacked, so all of your data in that server, your money, everything in that server will be lost. Now to the distribute structure. So let's move on to part two about what is the mRNA means and what is the mechanism of action of the mRNA vaccines. So mRNA stands for the messenger RNA, also known as the mRNA, which is the genetic material that helps body make protein. So firstly, DNA copy to the mRNA, then mRNA gives instruction with ribosome and transmits proteins. So as well as you know, if it enters to your body, the mRNA travels to ribosome using the mRNA from the vaccines. Ribosome just make a spike protein from the virus. If it enters to your body, after making the spike protein, your cell destroys the mRNA from the vaccine. Your cell present a spike of protein on its surface. When your immune cells start making the when your immune cells spot the proteins and realize it doesn't belong there. As a result, the immune cells start making antibodies as part of an immune response to the virus in the future if you get a virus. A thousand years from now, people saw mail as a strong example of the First Amendment. I remember once my father told me that around his age when he was younger, whenever he wanted to communicate to his friends far away, he would write a letter. The letter being delivered could take weeks to a whole month to reach his friends living abroad. Mailing is also very troublesome because it must be taken to the post office and cost a certain amount of money. In the future, humans will ditch speech and communicate using nothing but their thoughts. The problem we solve today is speech. You see, there are only limited languages to express what you are thinking and emotions. And sometimes, if we had brain-to-brain -brain communication, we could transfer text images, videos, and even express our indescribable emotions to someone else just by the brain. Trade the percent distribution of working children from 5 to 17 years old by broad industry groups. Clearly, we can see that there are three broad industry groups with our, which are agriculture, services, and industry, illustrated by three different colors. From these two pie charts, we can conclude that throughout these two timelines, there isn't much of a significant difference due to the lack of change in the percentages. While some of them decrease and increase, but only slightly, one of the main benefits of economic growth is higher incomes, reduced poverty, and better education for children. And these are the main factors that can limit child labor at all costs. So, in the United States, when the economy has grown, we all know now that it is a very developed country, and that's why child labor is limited there. Magnetic levitation uses two types of magnets, electromagnetics and permanent magnets. These magnets were put alongside the track, and look at this picture right here. Same pole create repel, and different pole attract to each other. These magnets were put at the bottom of the hyperloop to so it can create repel, lift the hyperloop, and then move the hyperloop at a very high speed. Here is a fun and smart experiment you can try at home. As you see here, there are some Lego train, Lego train, and a Lego road, and on the Lego there's some magnets, and on the Lego train there's some magnets. But if you stop holding the Lego train, it will get flipped out of roll like that. So how do we fix this problem? Well, we will have a cloud at the bottom of the high blue, so that this will it will balance the high blue, so that the high blue won't get flipped out of the road again. As we all know, an object traveling in a fluid such as air or liquid is acted by the tra by the drag force. But wait, what is drag force? Here are here is the 100 times which make the track force 100 times bigger. Vacuum pump can suck 99.9% of the air in the hyperloop, so there would be no air in the hyperloop, right? Yes, there would be no air, so there would be no air resistance and track force to stop the hyperloop. And it can help the hyperloop to travel at a very high speed. According to scientists' research results, the hyperloop uses a low energy compared to different transportation here. During that, 
their economic development could be negatively affected, so they have not ratified it, despite accounting for the largest proportions of world's emissions. Such selfish decisions from political leaders have made this solution failed and are one of the signs of human extinction. Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons It's failed because countries possessing nuclear weapons such as the US or um, Russia, they have not joined the TBNW. This means that they wanted to get their nuclear weapons ready. For their own benefits, they ignored the safety of all innocent people and that is another sign of human extinction. From 1994 to 2019, we can see that the ozone layer has recovered. This proves that all the issues can be solved by international cooperation. The problems that have not been addressed just because we have not really tried to work together. In fact, the signs of human extinctions are not global warming, are not nuclear war, but are our selfish decisions. So, for the question, how long will humankind continue to exist? The answer is, it depends on the decisions of leaders from each country and our awareness. As long as we keep worrying about those issues, we keep persuading our leaders not to make wrong decisions like the, the Fibonacci sequence. And in this video, you can see that each number is the sum of the two previous numbers. And together, it will make a nice looking spiral. Well, we can see that spiral appears all around us and like the galaxy, the leaf or the shelf and obviously it's very beautiful. Pianist is playing the piano and how incredible it is. He's just playing follow to the to the Fibonacci sequence but his music is as beauty as the beauty of nature. So over here we have space and time. We have a proton consists of two up quarks and one down quark. So this up quark will emit into a plus boson and also transform into a down quark. This plus boson will decay into a positron and an electron neutrino. So next I will tell you the whole process of nuclear fusion, the proton-proton chain reaction. So in step one, we will have two protons which transform into a deuterium plus a positron and an electron neutrino. So we have the total reaction is that four protons will turn into a helium-4 by releasing two gamma rays, two positrons and two electron neutrinos. So as we see, in every step, there is mass loss. So now I will adjust Einstein equation E is equal to mc squared to calculate the energy from the mass loss. So we have the meaning of this equation is that so we have the main point of special relativity is that the speed of light is constant. So that means that the energy and mass is convertible. So now I will give you the calculations of energy from Einstein equation e is equal to mc squared. So why don't we create conditions for women to affirm their position in society? Just let the women try to take on high position at work. Maybe they do better than men. So if you really want to solve this problem, only education is the most optimal and the most effective way. We should spread education to the rural areas. Let the girls know that they have to be strong, resilient to fight the sexes. Besides educating girls, you have to let the boys know that there's no need for women to be high men. Each replication, the stem cells loses a bit of telomeres at the end. And when this happens, you know that you've aged. Then how can us humans maintain the length of our telomeres? This is where our hero telomerase comes in. Telomerase is an RNA that's created by the tetrahymena. Its job is to go into the DNA of the telomere, stretches it out, using a specific code to stick to it. It will gradually move and move, and the DNA job is to follow it. And when it does so, it extends out. After reaching the limit length, the DNA polymerase will go in, replacing the RNA with the DNA. The DNA will curve back to its original place, and the telomere's length has now been increased. 
Well, people think that telomerase is so good, they want to inject it in themselves. Please don't do it. Because while it can elongate our telomeres length, giving us a longer life, it can also increase the risk of us having cancers. And I bet with you, you don't want cancers. It's even worse than this. And hey, don't be sad. Because being sad also shortens our telomeres. Following Dr. Elizabeth Blackburn together with Dr. Alyssa Appel, they have been conducting researches on a group of mothers with children with chronic disorders. And the results indicated that the longer the mothers were exposed to stress, the shorter her telomeres become. But some in this group were special. They experienced no shortening of their telomeres at all. This is because they were resilient to stress. And they found out that stressful events is challenges, not life or death situation. And to sum it all up, us humans can actually maintain our telomeres left. It just all starts with our attitude. We have to go through challenges with a positive mindset, and doing so will give us longer life. Maintaining our telomeres length will bring us more time for our visions and dreams. Thank you for listening.